All right, just got done washing my new trailer, um, only because I picked it up last week and decided to go to an auction right after I picked it up. Uh, and they, I got skunked at the auction, so I didn't haul home anything on it. And at the same time, they missed the weather forecast. And uh, instead of the rain we were supposed to get, we definitely got about two inches of snow, which completely covered this entire trailer and ice. In fact, I had to get the 25 degrees, I had to get a water hose out uh, to get it uncoupled from the truck when I got home because basically the entire front of the truck the trailer was covered in somewhere between a half inch and two inches of ice um, I mean that you couldn't even see sure track under there so what did I buy uh, clearly it's a sure track based on the the name there uh, it is a 22 foot tilt deck it does have 7,000 pound axles underneath it uh, it the tilt part is 16 feet and then there is a six foot deck um, the reason I went with this particular, uh, style of tilt deck instead of a full tilt deck is I would like to put pallets up in the front. Um, ideally I'd like that stationary part to be a little bit longer, but at the same time, uh, we're trying to fit kind of a, an intermediate need for trailers here. And I'll get into that in just a second. Um, so for those of you who've been watching the channel, uh, for quite a while and particularly in the last year, even though I haven't put out a lot of videos cause I've been moving, and trying to get everything settled uh, settled in from the move. Uh, you'll know that last March, uh, last March, early April, uh, I picked up a uh, F-Max 207 Diamond C. And then I don't think I've really talked about it much, but basically last July, uh, I picked up a 16-foot um, PJ uh, dump trailer. And then... It, I, before I picked up the Diamond C, I had an 18-foot PJ car hauler, or equipment hauler, equipment trailer, um, and I sold that because it was about nine years old, and I sold it, uh, and really regretted selling it once I sold, once we decided to move, because then I was down to one trailer, and that's what kind of drove me to get the, uh, the dump trailer, um, but over the, as the last years kind of progressed, particularly the last eight months, um, I recognize that that I need something that's a little bit smaller than the the, the Diamond C. Um, it's not that the Diamond C is bad. I love the trailer itself, um, but I need something a little bit smaller. Uh, it's easier to, to hook, unhook, uh, go to auctions and stuff like that. I don't always need that kind of capacity in terms of just square footage of deck space. Um, and really that kind of was cemented when I had to haul the Diamond C to Lowe's in town to pick up an extension ladder. Um, when you're putting an extension ladder on a 20, 28 foot deck over trailer, um, I think you're, 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 it's a little overkill. So, um, I decided to get a third trailer, something intermediate. Um, originally I was kind of looking at equipment haulers or equipment trailers, much like my older PJ was, um, how we're looking forward into the future. I know that I do want a forklift. Um, I have been toying with the idea of um, getting rid of the John Deere 4066 uh, compact utility tractor and trading it out on a skid steer. Um, don't read too much into that. That's just a toy idea in my head. Um, and so I got to thinking about it. It's like, well, if I get a forklift or I get a skid steer or something, um, I, I actually loaded a skid steer on my Diamond C, and it's fine. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, but I, I think a tilt deck is just so much handier when it comes to moving pieces of equipment like that. Um, and so I decided to go for a tilt deck over just a flat deck trailer or something with a dovetail. Um, and so anyway, this is what I ended up with. Uh, now, why did I pick a sure track? Because obviously I have a Diamond C, I've got a PJ, I had a PJ. Um, why did I go for a different brand? I'm gonna kind of go over some of the features of this trailer that led me to uh, purchase this particular brand as compared to others. Um, so first off, why not a PJ or Diamond C? Diamond Cs, they're great trailers, but in my year of ownership of a Diamond C, I would say I love the trailer, but the cost versus benefit there, I'm not sure is a one-to-one. -one. Um, I don't mind paying for quality, um, but there's lots of little details in a Diamond C. That it's, I'm not necessarily unhappy with it. Uh, I love the trailer itself, but there's lots of little details that you're paying for. 
um, when you buy a Diamond C that I don't think you necessarily uh, get the value out of. And I can go into, I'll, I'll do a review on the Diamond C. Um, so, and then why not a PJ? Um, I just didn't like any of the PJ offerings in terms of combinations of stuff. Um, and then probably one of the biggest thing is I've got a trailer dealer that's very close, uh, to me and basically, and you can see their name right there. Um, they were really easy to work with. Stopped by there, uh, back in, in December and January and really kind of mid December. And we started talking, they had this exact trailer with 8,000 pound axles underneath it. Um, 8,000 pound axle, one of these trailers with 8,000 pound axles, uh, has a growth vehicle weight rating of 18,000 pounds. Clearly I don't need 18,000 pounds of rating. Uh, I didn't want to, uh, I'll just refer to it as kneecap a trailer like that and pay, you know, an extra $1,500 for, um, the 8,000 pound axles and the 16, I think 16 ply tires when I'm never going to use it. Um, so in talking with them, I decided to order this, and I'll go ahead and get into specific, some specifics here in just a minute on why I ordered a SureTrack. Uh, they also had, um, for those of you that live in the Midwest, you might know DCT trailers. They had DCTs. Um, uh, you know, I was left with the impression um, that DCTs just got some quality problems. Um, looking over all the trailers on the lot, and I stopped by three or four places, um, I, the quality was not there. The welds were poor. Um, the electrical system left a lot to be desired. I mean, they, I'm sorry, it is 2024 and you're using uh, residential metal electrical connector boxes on a new trailer. Um, I'm sorry, that, that's just not acceptable. I mean, I'm sure it's acceptable to somebody and it fits a price point, but um, that's, that's just unacceptable to me. Um, another brand they had was H&W. Um, they didn't have some of the, uh, it, it just, they fit a price point, we'll put it that way. Um, but, you know, it just, I wasn't in love. And um, price-wise, they were pretty comparable to uh, these sure tracks. Now I don't know anything about sure tracks other than what I've looked at. Um, it's, you know, this is what I would consider an industrial trailer. In fact, it kind of looks funky hooked up to my truck. Um, probably one of the complaints I have is I cannot put the tailgate down because the tailgate will rest on this big, uh, plate here that supports the hitch. I mean, obviously I have the hitch all the way down at the bottom. Um, so, you know, it's definitely a more industrial or commercial type trailer, um, particularly when you look at the frames. But like I've said before, I'm willing to pay for something that's going to last and uh, something that is not going to break or anything else. Um, so uh, well, let's just get into it. Probably one of the coolest things is the frame itself and then the latch. Um, so we'll just start right here. These oversized stake pockets are phenomenal. For those of you that have ever dealt with those stupid J-hook ratchet straps that you can't get in the rub rail, this solves that problem. Now I'd really like a rub rail, but it's, you know, there wasn't necessarily an option for a rub rail, and I don't know exactly how long the rub rail would be. Um, so I didn't really think it was practical, but I would like one. The nice thing with this is literally you pull up, and you can, I'm gonna do it one-handed, and then it's loose. And then what you can do, I mean, obviously, if you know a tilt deck, but I'm going to kind of demonstrate a few things here. So really easy. I can get on it, push it down, right? Well, one of the cool things with this trailer that you can do is you can actually adjust the speed. And so if you want to adjust the speed, you just come down here and you can enter out. We're going to go all the way in and see what happens. We're going to even see if I can get it down. And then Oh, we're sinking very slowly. So, we're going to come down here. So, if you've got a heavy piece of equipment that uh 
you know, a heavy, heavy piece of equipment that you, you don't want just slamming down. You can adjust that all the way in. And now we're going to adjust that out. And we're going to get back on it. And walk up here. And float ourselves down. So, you know, and I'm 285 pounds or so. Um, so it's one of those things. And then um, before I get too far ahead of myself, if you want to lock it in. Now it's locked, so you can do a lot of it, you know, with your foot or something. So if you're on a machine, you can just push it down with your foot. Um, and so it's one of those things that that's a really nice feature to me. Um, being able to control the speed, the stake pockets. Uh, now I need to release it again because I wanted to show you one of the things that I thought was cool. Is the frame. I'm going to go stand on the end. I think the frame on this trailer is really, really interesting. First off, it's a pretty substantial frame. Uh, this trailer, I don't have the, the MCO yet or anything to register it. But this frame on this trailer is extremely beefy. And they have tubes for a frame. Now, I think that that's probably a good selling point. But I have some concerns over the tube. Not that it's necessarily bad. But look at the welds right there. And I'm wondering if that's not going to cause some problems in the future. That, you know, water's going to get in there. Salt's going to get in there. And, um create some some corrosion or rust problems in those in those square tubes now i don't i don't extensively use my trailer in the winter uh in fact i'm kind of disappointed normally i was just going to have one of them get salty and that was probably going to be the diamond c and um but now basically this one's gotten salt on it so um i mean it's it's already rusted in a couple places in the week that it sat out there but um you know, overall, I'm pretty impressed with this trailer. Um, we're going to see, you know, we'll do a, I'll do a review on it. An option that we didn't realize that we ordered was the um, cleats. So that'll probably be really nice for forklifts and stuff, um, skid steers and whatnot. Uh, particularly the E50 does fit on here. Uh, I think the E50 with the tongue weight on the truck probably would be uh, pretty substantial. But, um, yeah, I mean, all enclosed wiring harness, um, you know, got this nice little step right here from the factory, came like that. Um, dual jacks. Um, this was an option. The nice thing, one of, one of the really nice things I think about this trailer is you can replace the jacks if you need to. Um, you know, so if, if, it presents itself when you know jack causes some problems or anything they are two speed we've got a binding problem in this i gotta work on that a little bit um the dealer worked on it a little bit and then um i was in a little bit of hurry to get to the auction i told him i'd work on it some and if i couldn't get it figured out i'd let him know um nice big chain locker up front so um you know i'll put some chains in there and whatnot that'll be really nice to have uh, granted, now I need two, um, I need two, uh, chains, so, um, or two sets of chains, because I'll probably haul the, the 4066 on this trailer most of the time, because it's a little easier to get to and whatnot, but, um, that is the new sure track, or new to me sure track, if you are interested in listing me drone on for 13, almost 14 minutes, um, you know, great, but, uh, if you got any questions, comments, leave them below. I will do some more reviews on this thing uh, as I use it. Um, I've got to move out of my old shop here in the next 30 days. So um, I am sure it's going to be put to use. So thanks for watching.